I can't believe these Haitian immigrants would come here and fill jobs that local Springfield residents would not or could not do. And now they've raised the average city wage for both Springfield and Clark County. They're paying income tax to the city that the city desperately needs for services like police and fire. They're making some of the local losers look bad by their example. It's unbelievable. You're about to witness a masterclass in combating right-wing propaganda and tearing down the entire belief system that justifies the right's cruelty from this amazing resident of Springfield, Ohio. The Haitian immigrants are working overtime to save up money to buy up all the dilapidated, condemned, and boarded up homes in Springfield, then fixing those houses up to make them livable again. This is raising property values across the city and county to the point where the valuation of all real estate in the city surpassed $1 billion last year for the first time ever. This in turn increases the property taxes paid to Clark County for those homes that are now no longer boarded up nuisances. How awful. I can't believe they're helping to fund our government and beautify our neighborhoods. These Haitian immigrants. This is a brilliant approach from Amanda because it directly debunks the false narrative Republicans push that immigrants are exploiting taxpayer funded programs, essentially stealing benefits from American citizens. In reality, immigrant communities help fund said programs just like everyone else. And in Springfield's case, have actually increased funding by helping to raise everyone's property values. But you'll never hear that from Republicans because earlier this year, a group representing 170 Republican elected officials sent out a budget proposal that would cut $1.5 trillion of Social Security benefits over the next 10 years in addition to raising the federal retirement age to 69 years old, whether it be roads, Bridges, schools, Social Security, Medicare, or any other government service, the Republican Party is fundamentally opposed to using the tax revenue our labor generates to provide us with the basic services we deserve. Now, more from Amanda. These Haitian immigrants are now spending money in our community to where new restaurants and retail spaces keep opening up across the city. And not just businesses run by Haitian. What absolute madness. Now we have new businesses in town generating more tax revenue for our city and county. I have a good paying job with great benefits. I don't need SNAP or TAMP, but because I have main character syndrome and the entire world should revolve around me, I want the exorbitant benefits that some of these Haitian immigrants get, which is $292 for SNAP, AKA food stamps, and $363 in cash per month for a single adult. Everyone knows that $655 per month lets you live like a millionaire in Springfield. I don't need it, but I want it before anyone else because why should we help folks who have legally come to our country but they have to wait for their work permit so they don't starve feeding the hungry in our community? You could not find a better summary and explanation of the mindset these right-wingers live with. Instead of being happy that our government is providing the literal bare necessities for someone to live, they see it as an unfair, unjustifiable affront to their existence and explicitly or not would rather see people die in the streets instead of minding their own business and letting these people live their lives. As the senator from the great state of Ohio, J.D. Vance, said back in 20, 2021, childless cat ladies are ruining America. As a childless cat lady, I take my duty to ruin America very seriously. I do this by simply choosing to live my life differently than J.D. Vance's personal religious beliefs would dictate me to do. Mayor Rue, Commissioners Estrop, Brown, Houston, and Packett, I hope you sit up there and think about what you've done. Because of your support of the Haitian community and the rest of Springfield and Clark County, how am I supposed to ruin America if I can't even ruin Springfield first? I am so disappointed in you, thank you. A massive shout out to Amanda Richardson for standing up for her Haitian neighbors and the town of Springfield as it continues to deal with the manufactured onslaught of hate from J.D. Vance, Donald Trump, and the Republicans who have unleashed hell on their community. And another massive shout out goes to this man. This here, this is for my Haitian friend. Don't let anybody's ignorance, hate, drama, or negativity stop you from being the best person you can be. Some people are wanting to see you fail. Some people are waiting to see you quit. Let them wait forever. The best thing you learn from the worst time of your life 
is that you get to see the true color of everybody. And I appreciate you. And I, I want to compliment y'all. You're doing a good job with regardless of what somebody, somebody else say. But we all got to remember, we can't never please everybody. Be sure to check out Walter Masterson's full video at the link in the description box below to see the good and the bad of how the community is grappling with unmitigated hate and lies being spewed by one of the most powerful people in the world. No problems, no real crime, no, a beautiful community. They just dropped 30,000 illegal aliens in Springfield, Ohio, and it's become a different place. We're going to destroy our country. Our country is going... Actually... It's horrible. You, you know, there's more to that story. They are here legally. Yep. And there are programs that the current administration has put into place to do those flights. You know things are rough whenever Harris Faulkner, of all people, is forced to fact check Trump or risk another lawsuit stemming from his lies. And I think America forgets that these are human beings. We've forgotten how to be polite We've forgotten how to be respectful of different opinions. And I know that President Trump will get us back there. He really will. This may be the most ironic and factually incorrect Alina Haba has ever said because the politeness train left the station whenever Trump first rose to power and has been barreling down the tracks of hate at full speed since. And there may be no going back now. It doesn't matter whether it's true. It is just how the American people can take what somebody's trying to do to manipulate their emotions and turn it into something funny. Nobody really cares whether they're eating the dogs and the cats except the owners of the dogs and the cats in the area. What we do care about is unfettered illegal immigration coming across our border with people who can't speak our language, do not know our laws, do not care to assimilate. That's what we care about. So do we make jokes out of it? Yes, but, but it's about the I'm illegals. But you went from saying Trump doesn't lie to when he brought up at a presidential debate, which is when a lot of people are making their decisions about who to vote for, uh, people who are not already committed. Um, he made up a story and he said, well, you don't care if that's true or not. You don't know that he made that up. Well, the people there that... are people who have said they have seen it. And we do know even in Venezuela, when they went full socialism, people were having to eat their pets. Well, right. They went, I, I don't think we're on the brink of uh, Venezuela here. But. Well, I think we might be headed that way if people aren't careful. When you look to the government to be the solution to your problems, you are on that slippery slope. Our founders understood that a big, powerful central government was the last thing we needed. They wanted individual states and basically what Bill Clinton said, all politics are local. All politics should be local. Law enforcement should be It was be Tip O'Neill, by the way. Law enforcement should be local. It, it should be. We, I, I would love to see the CIA and the FBI and the DOJ, I would love to see them gone. We don't need them. We, now with the internet, with, with connectivity, the states can interact and, and we, to me, we don't need these alphabet agencies. They're destroying us. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.